Our sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. Remember that you're also streaming live on standardmedia.co.ke and on our YouTube channels as well. Talk to us across our social media platforms at KTN News, KE at Dennis Asset, our hashtag is Weekend Prime. And now let's go straight to our top story tonight. ODM leader Raila Odinga has officially relinquished his position as party leader and Kisumu governor Professor Anyang Nyongo installed as acting party leader. The move is to allow the ODM leader to fully concentrate on his campaigns for African Union Commission chairperson. Odinga seemingly chaired his last ODM NEC meeting in Mombasa, steered clear of the debate on the impeachment of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and party's current relationship with Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition, although hinting at why ODM is working with UDA. He said that ODM, which is celebrating its 20 years of existence, will hold its grassroots polls next month. Tobias Changi starts our bulletin tonight with that story. It was during the ODM National Executive Council meeting that Raila Odinga officially announced relinquishing his position to Kisumu Governor Professor Nyangnyong, albeit in an acting capacity. The meeting had been called to ratify some of the resolutions made by the Central Management Committee, among them the party leader's position a few weeks ago. I formally task our foreign secretary general Professor Peter Anyangnyong to, to step in and provide leadership to our great party to enable me immerse myself fully into the final and more intricate phase of my campaign for the chairmanship of the African Union Commission. Odinga, who heaped praises on Anyangnyong, said the party was now ready to hold next month grassroots elections, even as he officially steps down. Nyong was once the party sector general. We must use all tools at our disposal to ensure these wishes of the people are not only heard, but are also reflected in policy formulation by the government. Although he steered clear of the current impeachment motion of Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, that is before the Senate, Odinga, hinted at why ODM had to work with the Kenya Kwanzaa ruling coalition. At our last meeting, a cloud of uncertainty and a doom hang over Kenya. We face two tough options. Allow our country to continue with its descent into chaos and statelessness or rise above populist considerations and provide leadership for the sake of Kenya's future. In so doing, he put the party at the service of the country. He responded to the worries and fears of Kenyans that our country could resolve even its most protracted problems and political differences without having to lose a nation. The three-day meeting that started on Friday will culminate on Sunday with other resolutions including the filling of one of the positions of a nominated member of parliament whose occupier was nominated as a cabinet secretary. Tobias Chanji, KTN, Mombasa County. Well, as you have seen, Peter Anyang Nyongo has now taken over as acting party leader for one of Kenya's oldest party, ODM. Tonight, we engage you on these on our BQ, where we ask you, do you think ODM party can survive in the absence of Raila Odinga? I repeat, do you think ODM party can survive in the absence of Raila Odinga? Send your responses starting with yes or no, followed by a comment to our toll-free number, double two one five one our big key is do you think odm party can survive in the absence of raila Odinga? share your thoughts with us on our toll free number double two one five one send us an sms with your name location and your response engage us on social media platforms at ktn news ke at dennis aceto 